Hello and welcome back to another video of Couch Nerd. So today's video is not actually going to be using my T83 Plus, rather I'm going to make a video with my T85. So the T85 is an older calculator and I've had uh, some requests to make some games on the T85. So I'm going to uh, start uh, throwing in some more T85 videos uh, along the way. And uh, as you probably saw, uh, today's video is going to be tic-tac-toe on the T85. Uh, I figured out how to do this, so I figured uh, it'd be a great uh, video. So, here we go. Okay, so now I'm going to run uh, program tic-tac. So it's uh, the second one right here, so I'm just going to click that. And as you can see, it puts up a little grid up in the corner. I didn't do this as fancy as I did uh, for the TI-83 because it was a little bit different, and I'm newer to the TI-85 style of programming, so I wanted to keep it more simple at the beginning, but it still does work, and it's still very optimized, just like the one uh, that I made for my TI-83. So basically, it's the same uh, concept as the TI-83. If you click 5, it'll put it in the middle of the tic-tac-toe grid. Um, so if you draw like a tic-tac-toe grid on the numbers, so like this would be the top... Uh, left corner and this is the top right uh, so it's like that so for example if I wanted to go in the middle I click 5 it puts an X in the middle now let's say okay now I want to defend against the X so I'm going to click 8 even though uh, it might not be a great strategy I'm just going to do that and so as you can see it just works like a normal tic-tac-toe game and uh, X would actually win here because well it's got two spots to go so uh, it does not check for end of game, so what you do is you just click clear when you're uh, done with the game. And uh, a feature of this um, that I did not include was checking to see if there's already a uh, player that is placed there. So if you want to, you can also play it as like a fun version of tic-tac-toe. So let's uh, run it again. So let's say I click five. Well, the other person can also go in the middle, and you can do that as many times as you want. Um, and so then like you can go here and then instead of like blocking uh, like X goes here, O wants to like take some other one of X's and so X can do like different things. And so it just is kind of a uh, different way that you can play a different style of playing if you'd like to do that. So uh, now I'm going to show you what the code is. So here we go. Okay, so I'm going to go edit. So I click uh, F2. Edit program tic tac. And I apologize if you cannot see this uh, extremely well. Um, I don't have the greatest uh, recording setup in the world, so uh, you can try turning up your resolution on YouTube. And if that does not work and you still cannot see it, don't worry. I can post the source code for you. I'd be happy to do that so you can have this on your calculator. So we do start out with a clear LCD, which is like a clear home if you're familiar with uh, T83 programming. Uh, one store into T, that's the turn, and then quote XO store into AB, uh, which is a string. To name a string, you just type two letters or more together. And then output at 1, 1, 3 plus signs, output at 2, 1, 3 plus signs, and output at 3, 1, quote 3 plus signs. Repeat until K is equal to equal to 45. Um, it's not this equal to that you get from alpha and store. You actually do second and two, which will take you into the test menu. And it will be uh, the first F button. So F1 uh, gives you the equal to equal to if you can see that right there. So after you get that equal to equal to, um, you're going to use that throughout the little bit of code. It's not that long, so don't worry. Um, so just make sure that you're doing that and not using uh, the... Uh, uh, equals by sec alpha in store, I mean. So get key store into K. If K is equal to 72, or K is equal to 73, or K is equal to 74, or K is equal to 82, and then 83, 84, 92, 93, 94. Uh, so if you see that pattern there, good. And as always, there is a catalog. So second and custom takes you to catalog. And there, I just clicked O, and I'm sure there's a better way to get OR, but I am not completely familiar with the T85 yet, so that's just the way that I was getting OR, in case you were wondering. Then, so to get uh, normal programming stuff, remember, you click second, 
or actually you don't have to click second, you click like F3 and that'll take you to the IO tab. And if you want to switch tabs, like the IO tab to the control, then you click second and then whatever tab you want to go to. So there it went to the control, there it goes to IO. And if you want a command that's below, you just click the F1, F2, uh, so you don't click second before you use it. So for example, to get then, I believe, um, yes, then is in control. So I'm going to click second F4, which gives me M4 because I click second. And then is the second button right there, so F2. So then, answer minus 61, store into G. G divided by 10, store into G. I'll put it I part of G, comma, 10 times the F part of G, sub AB, comma, T, comma, 1. So this is basically the same thing that I did on my TA83+, plus, only I also checked uh, the matrix to make sure that someone already has not gone there. So t plus 1 store into t. If t is equal to 3, then 1 store into t. And 2 ends. And that is the entire program to make uh, tic-tac-toe on your TR-85. So it's a two-player game. Eventually, I may make this a one-player with a, like an AI. Um, it wouldn't be a very great AI, but it would work. And it'd be kind of fun. So uh, I hope you look forward to future videos on the TR-85. And uh, yeah, I'll keep them coming. So thank you for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.